This is a review of our installation of the Vision PMA Autopilot for the Piper PA28. We're installing this on a Cherokee 235. Let's look at some of the things that we did as we installed. First of all, this is our pitch servo. You'll notice that we ended up mounting it exactly as they suggested with the frame over the top of the flap handle. We made sure that when we installed it, the wiring harness was on the top and the control mechanism was down and to the left. This type of orientation wasn't really clear in the instructions. We did end up changing out this connector uh, from the one that was before. The one was a 90 degree connector and we found this one to be a little bit easier. And then this is the position that the uh, pitch sensor uh, plugs into. We found it a little bit unclear as we were doing the final installation. We found that what they were talking about is as we positioned this bracket with this arm in place, the movement that it goes isn't rela related to where it goes back and forth here, but the clearance right down here on each side of the uh, pitch servo. When we did the same thing on the roll servo, we initially mounted this portion here off to the left and that didn't work. So we had to change the position. And so you end up with it looking like this, installed with this portion towards the back. Here's our 90 degree connector. And then the movement is centered between this point and this point as the aileron makes its full movements. And we, we actually adjusted this right here so that we had equal amounts of clearance from this side to this side as it was going through its full range of mo motions. We also found that when we used, and it, they didn't say this in the instructions, but when you use this offset arm, there's actually a uh, countersunk screw that fits right in here that comes through. It wasn't clear about that. That's the way that is uh, positioned and connected and that allows it to clear this cable. When we ran our wiring, there are some lightning holes right here and we put rubber grommets on each side of those holes so that it wouldn't bother the, the cables. And then we ran our cables through that lightning hole underneath the side panel and to the front. This is what it looks like from an overview.